Well, friends, it's time for what is likely to be the final monthly conference in this illustrious PTO2 campaign. Uh, I think it's time to end things, but we gotta put a bow on it. We gotta cut a nice silky piece of ribbon and wrap up this war like the delicious present that it is. Let's go ahead and go to the meeting before I say something even more embarrassing. Ah, uh, I lost a card, probably because I lost a crucial base in the Pacific, but, you know, that's, that's war, man. It happens. Actually, now that I'm looking more closely, everybody has the same number of cards. This is likely to be a very interesting meeting. I don't really know how this is gonna go. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Oh, I should actually talk a little bit about, um, Arblinson's, uh, commands here, I guess. Uh, really, all that he wants me to do is focus on supplies and money. All other subjects are irrelevant. <laughs> I agree. Uh, you know, I, I'm just gonna start spitballing then. I'm just gonna go ahead and, uh, be bold with my ideas. That's, those are all stupid. Those aren't bold. I'll show you bold. Bold Kansas City flavor. Speaking of which, we did take Kansas City. I didn't record that. I'm gonna declare war on the Soviets. Post haste. <laughs> and, uh, Germany. I'm gonna declare war on them. No, we're gonna negotiate, I guess. Um, China? You know? I think that's really all we need. We could do a peace treaty with the Australians, I guess. The thing is, is this will not, this has no meaning. Uh, because the Americans are going to vastly outspend us diplomatically. But, you know. Everybody's picking on poor old effing controller again. It's really what that difficulty setting does. <laughs> Great. <laughs> That's all it does. It, it just makes it so that all of the offensive cards get targeted at you. It's pretty fun. Pretty fun stuff. There. But we're back on the table. You sons of bitches. <laughs> Hate you all. Ah, there we go. A little change of pace. It's probably something like 80% of the time. He's got his plan back on the table. Now, this could be a good opp- This would be a good opportunity to use a unified card if uh, I cared enough use it on the chief of staff because he's less likely yeah there you go uh, I don't have a refuse god damn it well that backfired terribly and now we're done <laughs> that was almost brilliant oh god I just do not care <laughs> it's kind of odd because now the chief of staff isn't our clear foremost enemy yeah we're all gonna agree with the prime minister because we're good lap dogs we're shih tzus let's be honest i just wanted to say shih tzu that's all um strategic goals i simply just don't care um Let's just go ahead and... Oh, okay, fine. <laughs> Interested to hear what the army has to say. Because they failed. Those are reasonable goals, actually. Those are probably the smart goals to have. These are dumb. They're not that dumb. They're kind of dumb. Okay. Again, we're going to go with the, the bold Texas-flavored proposal here, I think. I want... That. Nope. Down. Dope. Oh, boy. <laughs> I can't pick Washington. No! Come on. There we go. Got it. 
And yes, that'll be us. And then how about we just go ahead and go for Sydney. <laughs> and while we're at it, here. I like it. This would be, well, I don't know. Depending on what kind of victory we wanted to go for, my strategy would change, but... Oh, you're the worst. Didn't I have a refuse card in the previous session? Oh, good. He's got three, so that's nice. <laughs> Maybe I'm confusing it with a pass card. I don't know. Anywho. Good stuff, good stuff. Gonna reach for the stars. <laughs> Come on. It's so funny how long it takes for the goddamn Super Nintendo to say, uh, yeah, this is, this is the plan. Yep. <laughs> you asshole. You horrible ass jerk. I really want to actually use my Unify card later, so I don't know why I'm getting all feisty about this because again it doesn't matter but it's the principle of the thing you know if I could ask you know if I could ask the chief of staff one question it'd be why you know what did I do to you why why does he do me that away? <laughs> no. No, Michael Jackson. Get out of the Let's Play. The few people still listening. Oh, boy. <laughs> the few people listening are just immediately traumatized. Lawsuit incoming. I think I might have just won this, by the way. Well, it was... Jock strapping around. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> nice. It was the power of the King of Pop that carried me through. <laughs> what a stupid turn of events. That's a catchy song, though. You gotta admit it. Here's the problem. is I listen to um, a lot of easy listening at work. And it's not by choice. Um, it's not a good situation, <laughs> as you as you have just found out. Uh, we're gonna focus in on this a little bit more because um, this is the only part that our Blinson really wants us to pay any mind to. You are a fucking asshole. Look at that. <laughs> you son of a bitch. <sighs> I didn't pay any attention to anybody else's proposals, so, uh, yeah, we're gonna get, well, first of all, well, let's just focus in on a few things here. Yeah. Sure. Great. And that looks good there. How about that? Oh, that's just super. Don't do it. You fucking... <laughs> At least I do have a plan card. And I do have an extend card, so if push comes to shove... If I do need to get into a shoving match with the Chief of Staff. Like some kind of... Embarrassing redneck... In a Walmart. God damn it. Fighting over a toaster. Talking a lot of class trash there, by the way. That that was just rude. You look like a blow-up doll there. That is just hmm. disgraceful. I'm ashamed of you all. Uh, there you go. It's a good opportunity to use that. Oh yeah. Oh yeah.
see the problem here is that I do need to get my plan back on the table in order to use that unify card so I just get to watch the theatrics for the time being and creak around in my chair like some kind of oh <laughs> An embarrassment of riches we have two unify cards no plan cards Oh, well, thank you. Thank you for asking. Plant card? God. Look at that. <laughs> Assholes. I hate every single one of these people. <laughs> these are the worst meetings. <laughs> should just sit around and play Angry Birds while they carry on without me. This is terrible. Uh, I don't remember. Oh, yeah, I guess I had to agree with him because he... Use the right card. So the finance minister wins this one. Oh my god, that's... It could be a worse situation, but, you know, it's not bad. The government gets a little bit more money. It helps our GDP. <sighs> yep. Supplies is also an opportunity for us to absolutely crush everyone. Intentionally, not accidentally. Okay. And there we go. This will be, uh, about like... There you go. Let's see how this goes. Wow. Coming on strong. <laughs> and now we get the refuse cards. That's just stupendous. He's got a plan card. You got a plan card. Now we're going with... Oh man, we're really hitting the... Just a lot of eclectic tastes being displayed. Yeah. These are great ideas I've got. Yeah. Nope. His idea is bad. You shouldn't listen to him. Well, I'll get another chance to use that Unify card, probably, because the Prime Minister, unless he targets me... Oh, come on, you guys. Get with the program. You idiots. <laughs> no one is worse than you. me well, let's see if he gets a plan out oh. three more minutes that that's okay and unify oh he bastards there you go come on you chuckle fucks quit talking amongst yourselves Well, this is helping me quite a lot, actually, but... Yeah, I think I'm... Oh! <laughs> That's awful. <laughs> These goddamn meetings! Oh, no. They just okey-doked me. They were like, Yeah, well, we're gonna just pass back and forth and, you know, make it look like this. Chief of Naval Staff's gonna win this one. Oh wait, Unify at the last minute. This goddamn game. If they could apply this AI here <laughs> to the fucking combat AI, we'd be screwed. Because this is manipulative and just psychopathic. Is there a draft in here? Or are my nipples this hard naturally? I have an amazing array of glassware in here right now. It's probably not good. You don't really need any conscripts. Um, stop the draft, man. 
it's not even just glassware. I've got a, a Coca-Cola thing. You know what? Good God. What kind of shit show am I running here? <laughs> just gonna tidy up while we uh, take care of some last last minute business. You know, why not? Did I lose that Unify card? No, I used it. That's right. I didn't use it. Or lose it. I used it. <laughs> God damn it. But yeah, you can probably hear that, because that's my headphone cable hitting a empty bottle of beer. <laughs> I'm a cool person. Don't mind the noises that you hear in the background. You, God, are all awful. <laughs> Oh, these are the worst. This is... This is the finance minister who was going cheap on that? Yep. I like his idea. I genuinely like it. <laughs> these are the worst. I think, is that the last bit of the meeting? Yes, it is. <sighs> Bittersweet. We didn't do very well this time, did we? It's that equal distribution of cards. I didn't have anybody I could really pick on. Um, oh, wow, look at all those supplies. Well, uh, the only other request that uh, our Blinson has is he wants me to build a fleet carrier in his honor. Presuming we can afford it. I think we can. Yeah. He wants the one with the most planes. Which I think is going to be the Akagi, but let's just double check. Because isn't the Shinano... Did I pass right by it and just not even notice? It doesn't even carry that many. What's the point of that? Didn't it... Wasn't it huge? Isn't it like the Xbox of carriers? Whatever. Um, we'll go with the Akagi then, I guess. And I will not choose from the list. I will name it myself. He wants it to be called the Shino Ame. Which means the Reign of Death. <laughs> I don't know why I said it like that. Poor R. Blinson. He's had to deal with my frustrations indirectly. Now, he wanted those separated, separated, separated? Really? Who talks like that? But I'm not doing that, because um, I don't think I can. I don't think I have enough space. I think that that would be technically the correct way to put that together in Japanese anyways. So, so uh, we're going to go and build planes. Oh, we have a destroyer in reserve? Hot pot of coffee. Let's see, building a battleship too. You know, let's go with a cruiser. Why don't we take a look at some cruisers? Cruisers get no respect. Cruisers have actually been basically the the, the backbone of my navy for a while. We've done great things with our um, with our battleships, obviously, but they haven't always been around when we've needed them. Got to work on that tone, I think. You know, got a lot of mass. Not a lot of tone. I know it's not pronounced that way. But, um, you know, go to hell. Fuji. That's a word I know. Chicago? Wait, what? What's happening? I wonder what Teshio means. I don't really. Um, there's nothing here that's immediately leaping out at me as being puerile. <laughs> I like Uji as opposed to Fuji. Uh, I actually shouldn't probably build it because I need to build planes. <laughs> Let's go ahead and build some planes. We've got plenty of subs too. We've got four that just came on, so that's fine. 
Plus, subs didn't really achieve a whole lot for us, unfortunately. Boy, howdy, we need to build some bombers. Um, I gotta say, I'm not really particularly impressed with our fleet attack planes, but we're low on them, so let's build 40 of those. And then we'll just build some bombers, why not? Actually, what's happening? Why wasn't it? <laughs> what is going on here with the controls? The controls in this game have proven very elusive to me. I don't know why it's so difficult to like do basic inputs on this, but it is. I guess considering who's at the helm, it's not that surprising. Okay, that's 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 looking good. Can I build a warship? No, of course not. <laughs> of course, because I'm terrible. Send spies. No, I won't actually. Because there's no point. They might end up putting some fleets out, I guess, but I think that that's about gonna be it. Gonna be about it. About it gonna be? Who knows how this language of ours works? Who really knows? Alright, well, that's pretty much the end of things, I'm afraid, folks. Um, unless there's a massive, you know, unless there's, like, riots in the streets, I'm probably going to call this good. Just because, like I was saying, it's at this point, we're just kind of whittling them down, and it's just grindy, and the result is pretty inevitable, to be honest with you. We're closing in on Washington, D.C. Um, it would take just some spectacular idiocy, <laughs> to be frank. Uh, in order for us to end up losing this. And yeah, like, we're just gonna march across the continent and eventually take Washington, D.C. like we did before. Um, the same sort of principle would apply if we wanted to go for one of the other victories, like getting, um... Well, let's just go ahead and look. Um, is it under this? Yeah. Yeah, if we want to get our base yield up to uh, 1,800, we'd just have to take a ton of bases. If we wanted to um, destroy the enemy's GMP, that obviously would require a huge amount of um, investment in terms of destroying their infrastructure and everything, um, which would, again, take just a ton of time. So I, I don't really know if there's really any way that I can continue this in a way that would be fun uh, and exciting. It's pretty much inevitable at this point what's going to happen. Um, so I think I'm just gonna call it good again unless people are really uh, perturbed by that um, I think that we can go ahead and hang our hat on this as we show our fleets docked at the major American ports on the west uh, west coast Japan has won I'm gonna declare victory and land my plane on my carrier how's that not too shabby I think we did pretty well too. Uh, the AI had some amazingly unfair advantages, <laughs> but again, the combat AI is just wretched. Just um, with all of those challenges set before us, it was still fairly trivial, unfortunately. So, it's something uh, that has ultimately become a little bit of a critique of this game, that uh, the combat AI just ruins it. It, it really does. It makes it uh, very easy to end up beating it. So. Uh, despite the level of detail, despite the, the attention to detail that Koi um, paid as far as getting stats and getting all these classes of ships and all these bases and everything, it just, with the core mechanic there, it kind of failed. It's kind of odd too because, well, it's disappointing because I held this game in really high regard. I still do. Um, again, this is a Super Nintendo game and I think it, the scale is pretty impressive, but it just isn't quite as good as it um, was in my mind before I started playing it so thoroughly. So, kind of a bittersweet moment for me. But um, I think it's yeah, I think it's time for us to settle on a declaration of victory. We'll have uh, we'll have them sign the surrender on the deck of the Yamato. How about that in San Francisco Bay? <laughs> Hehehe. Well done, everybody. Well done to my admirals who assisted me with this uh, monumental effort. Uh, 
We'll see where things go from here on out. Who knows what I'll play? Not even me. I don't know. I actually do. But it's a secret. So for now, <laughs> I'm going to take my secrets with me to bed. Because I'm tired. Thanks so much for watching this series. It was actually a lot of fun for the most part. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. This has been Effing Controller playing PTO2. Catch you guys later.